we must face the fact that the energy shortage is permanent. There is no way we can solve it quickly. But if we all cooperate and make modest sacrifices, if we learn to live thriftily and remember the importance of helping our neighbors, then we can find ways to adjust and to make our society more efficient and our own lives more enjoyable and productive. Utility companies must promote conservation and not consumption. Oil and natural gas companies must be honest with all of us about their reserves and profits. We will find out the difference between real shortages and artificial ones. We'll ask private companies to sacrifice, just as private citizens must do. All of us must learn to waste less energy. Simply by keeping our thermostats, for instance, at 65 degrees in the daytime and 55 degrees at night, we could save half the current shortage of natural gas. There's no way that I or anyone else in the government can solve our energy problems if you are not willing to help. I know that we can meet this energy challenge if the burden is borne fairly among all our people. And if we realize that in order to solve our energy problems, we need not sacrifice the quality of our lives. The Congress has made great progress toward responsible strip mining legislation so that we can produce more energy without un unnecessary destruction of our beautiful lands. 